All right, say no more. Let's get into it. Nine Spiral uh, YouTube. This is called Fair Use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe upon my copyright. On the title 17 USC section 107, let's cook. All right, man, let's get into it, man. Uh, we cooking, man, and um, we're going to take a deeper look into the Bigfoot, right? Yeah, I said it. The Bigfoot. And, you know, I've seen some videos that kind of interest me, but I became interested primarily uh, because of uh, the supernatural uh, aspect. Now, I have poured over, and there's hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of accounts writing people's stories uh, dating as far as back uh, to the 1800s, to the mid-1800s, right? And so uh, we're going to take a deeper look uh, into exactly, nah, I ain't going to say exactly, because uh, I don't quite know. And that's okay. All right, but we still going to dig on it. And we're going to try to correlate uh, what scripture says. Again, I'm shooting blind. Right? Because I've, I've heard some stories and, and we're going to dig a little bit on uh, Missing 411. Missing 411 is a book uh, that this guy written, uh, David Pilates, about these uh, missing people around about uh, these national um, forests and uh, national parks and shit, right? And so definitely there's something going on, but it ain't for us. It ain't for Israel. <laughs> All right, it's not for us, but we're going to dig on it, man, and see what it do. Let's go. Cool. All right, so we'll have you put a missing 411, man, and you can get the drop yourself. I'm not going to go through it. Um, you know, this is something you can dig on in your own time. Uh, but this is happening real time, right? Okay, so we got David Pilates presents missing person cases from South Carolina and New York. All right. So this is real shit. And then you want to factor in... Uh, let's say the Native American uh, culture and what they have to say about the Bigfoot, right? Uh, which uh, Native American we, we know to be uh, uh, American Indian culture, which is indigenous culture, right? <laughs> which is Aboriginal culture, all right? We're just talking Adama. Uh-huh. Uh, David Pilates missing 411. Why National Park Services uh, don't want any publicity. And it is very clear uh, that something is out there uh, terrorizing Gentiles, right? Gentiles, right? Uh, when we say Gentiles, uh, we mean Gentiles, right? So uh, this is not for us. Uh, yes, you're all. <laughs> I just wanted to point that out. Uh, that is, it is strictly uh, for the Gentiles. Now, this is a, a severe judgment. One of the four uh, severe judgment, right? It's beast coming out of the forest and fucking people up. Just want to make that clear. You get that in uh, Ezekiel. Uh-huh. All right, again, so Mr. David Pilates, y'all dig on it, uh-huh. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. All right, so we have you put in, like I said, man, I became interested because of uh, this aspect alone. I've heard some amazing things. Uh, these things are definitely not uh, just um, flesh and blood, right? Uh, it is a supernatural aspect going on here. Um, woo! I've heard shit from the predator type thing uh, to where they uh, 
as they run away, you know what I'm saying, they're kind of fade in and out. And some say they're even disappearing before their eyes and reappearing in different places and shit. I've heard all kind of stories. Uh, I've been digging on it for a minute. Again, I'd be the first to say I really don't know what the hell they are. Uh, but is it bad? Yeah, it's bad. Of course it is. <laughs> All right, I'm going to be all over the place, man, so y'all pay me no mind. We're just cooking. It looked like somebody was bent over and had their head in the window of the deer blind. Uh huh. It either heard me or smelt me, and he pulled his head out of the tent and stood straight up, and that that shocked me. Huh. Yashir, right? The book of Yashir. And now this is the best that I can do at the moment. Uh, again, man, I'm still digging. <clears throat> it is a lot to dig on. All right. You're going to pop off. Give me one second, one second. Read. And Abram remained in the house of Noah. And there knew the Lord and his ways, and uh -huh. he served the Lord all the days of his life. Come on. And all that generation forgot the Lord and served other gods of wood and stone. See that? And rebelled all their days. Mm -hmm. And King Nimrod reigned securely, that all the earth was under his control, and all the earth was of one tongue and words of union. And all the princes of Nimrod and his great men took counsel together. Read. Phut, Mitzraim, Cush, and Canaan with their families. See that? See that? The goddamn Hamites. I told you they cursed. Y'all think I'm bullshitting. It's all through scripture. The land is cursed. They cursed. And they got bad feet. <laughs> Read. They said to each other, come, let us build ourselves a city uh -huh. and in it a strong tower come on. and its top reaching heaven. Read. And we will make ourselves famed so right. that we may reign upon the whole earth in order that the evil of our enemies may cease from us, uh -huh. that we may reign mightily over them come on. and that we may not become scattered over the earth on account of their wars. Read. And they all went before the king and they took the king these words and the king agreed with them in this affair uh -huh. and he did so. Mm -hmm. And all the families assembled, consisting of about 600,000 men. Come on. And they went to seek an extensive piece of ground to build the city and the tower. And they sought in the whole earth, and they found none like one valley at the east end of Shinar. Read. About two days' walk, and they journeyed there, and they dwelt there. Uh -huh. And they began to make bricks and burn fires to build the city and the tower that they had imagined to complete. Mm -hmm. And the building of the tower was unto them a transgression and a sin. Read. And they began to build it. 
and whilst they were building against the Lord God of heaven, they imagined in their hearts to war against him. See that? <clears throat> they imagined in their hearts to war against Hawa. <laughs> Wrong decision. All right. Read. To ascend into heaven. And all these people and all the families divided themselves in three parts. Uh -huh. The first said, We will ascend into heaven and fight against him. All right. The second said, We will ascend to heaven and place our own gods there and serve them. Come on. And the third part said, We will ascend to heaven and smite him with bows and spears. Read. And God knew all their works and all their evil thoughts. Uh -huh. And he saw the city and the tower which they were building. Read. And when they were building, they built themselves a great city and a very high and strong tower. Come on. And on account of its height, the mortar and bricks did not reach the builders in their ascent to it uh -huh. until those who went up had completed a full year. Mm -hmm. And after that, they reached to the builders and gave them the mortar and bricks. Read. Thus was it done daily. Uh -huh. And behold, these ascended and others descended the whole day. Come on. And if a brick should fall from their hands and get broken, they would all weep over it. Read. And if a man fell and died, none of them would look at him. Come on. And the Lord knew their thoughts, and it came to pass when they were building, they cast the arrows toward the heavens. Read. And all the arrows fell upon them, filled with blood. Uh -huh. And when they saw them, they said to each other, Surely we have slain all those that are in heaven. Fooled For them. this was from the Lord in order to cause them to err. And fooled the fuck out of them. They thought they was doing something. You see that? Now y'all keep on playing with the Most High. Read. In order to destroy them from off the face of the ground. Uh -huh. And they built the tower in the city, and they did this thing daily until many days and years were elapsed. Come on. And God said to the seventy angels who stood foremost before him, what he say? to those who were near to him, saying, Come, let us descend and confuse their tongues, Read. that one man shall not understand the language of his neighbor. Uh -huh. And they did so unto them. And from that day following, they forgot each man his neighbor's tongue, Come on. and they could not understand to speak in one tongue. Uh -huh. And when the builder took from the hands of his neighbor lime or stone, which he did not order, Read. the builder would cast it away and throw it upon his neighbor that he would die. Uh -huh. And they did so many days, and they killed many of them in this manner. Read. And the Lord smote the three divisions that were there. And he punished them according to their works and designs. Come on. Those who said, we will ascend to heaven and serve our gods, became like apes and elephants. Ah. <laughs> apes. Elephants, huh? Or dog-headed people. Come on, let's go. All right, all right. Now, we just heard, we just heard in the book of Yashir that the language was confused, right? And we heard the lady in the beginning, she said that the language they spoke sounded different. Hold on, let's get that again. They were screaming at each other in gibberish. It sounded like a language and they were chuntering away back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> All right, all right, and so uh, she's not the only one. So we're going to dig on it for a minute, man, and see what it do. Again, we're on the investigation of what's fucking up the Gentiles. <laughs> Let's rock.
uh, what the hell? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> she and me. That's enough. You see, they out there playing, but I ain't gonna play with them like that. No, 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 no. Y'all good. All right, say now, say now. We're gonna see what the Torah has to say again, man. Torah is uh, uh, the first history book ever, right? It is clearly a history book. All right, it is a timeline, right? It is an encyclopedia. It is all that, right? And so we're going to dig deep into a raw man uh, uh, and see. Uh, damn, I forgot my man right here. Uh, but we're digging on troglodyte, right? And we want to find out who tr what troglodytes are and uh, what uh, the real Idumian people, who they are, all right? Give me one second. We're going to pop off. Damn, up, oh, man, I forget your name. I was looking for it, uh, but anybody want his uh, the link to this video, just let me know. Let's go. All right, so I'm uh, all praises to the Yahweh, 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 the Redeemer and Savior of Israel. Uh, this is going to be volume four in regards of uh, Esau and I being the so-called white man. And today I'm going to be dealing with, uh, with the cave dwelling aspect of the cave dweller. All right, now this plays, right? This plays big time, right? If you haven't seen my work on uh, the Sierra Nevada mountains, all right, so we're giving landmarks over here. And we're just talking none other than Mount Sierra, right? Which was the possession of your brethren Esau, right? Our brethren Esau. All right, but who had that territory before Esau? All right, so we're just digging on it. And we're going to find out why Isaac and Rebecca uh, forbid uh, that Jacob take a wife, or bid that Jacob take a wife from Laban, his uncle, right? And we're going to find out why. This place. Let's rock. These camps out there, or all these other Israelites who subscribe to this falsehood that uh, white people are the Edomites. They like um, uh, to Europe. All right, straight up. We cannot find you in scripture. I said it, and we like truth, and that is the truth. We cannot find you in scripture. We don't know when you showed up to the scene. Uh, we can speculate. But indeed, you are a Johnny come lately, as Farrakhan would put it. You are a fairly recent creation. Now, this is proven. Scientific, what have you. You know, uh, shout out to Lex Weir. You know, it's, it's one thing to say, okay, nine spiral. Can you prove that? Do you have proof? Well, when I tell you, that we have the gene code that is hands down that is the epitome of proof we have the gene code and you're not all the way human all right that's another video let's cook lies this analogy that uh being the fact that the edomites were dwelling in mount Sears, that they're, they're the original cave dwellers, which in all sense of what, uh, according to what they're teaching, that they will also apply to the Europeans, man, or the so-called white race. 
But I'm going to go into Torah and show you on how the Edomites were not the original cave dwellers. All right. Now, this is why we dig on Torah. This is why we meditate on Torah. This is why the Most High said meditate on Torah and I will fix everything around you. Right. Because there's truth in Torah. Huh? Let's go. Edomites were not the original cave dwellers. And the so-called white man or the so-called white race were not the original cave dwellers. But the Horites, which was another quote-unquote so-called black nation, melanin individuals or people of color, they were the original cave dwellers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'm going to go over here first in Strong's Hebrew Dictionary of the Bible. And I'm going to look up the word I'm a Horite in our language. Let's get it out. Let's get Let's it. See what it says. This so is I'm what we do. And look for um, uh, Strong's number 27 and 52. All right, all right. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Let's get it. Uh, let's see. This is what we do. All right. Strong number 2752. Uh-huh. Hooray. From 2356. And it says, a what? It says, hold on a minute. Where am I right now? Find it, find it out, find it. Here we go. It says a cave dweller. All right, let's focus on that. <clears throat> cave dweller or troglodyte. All right. A chorite or horite or aboriginal idumian. Huh? So who was mingling with these Horites, these Canaanites, all right? Because we're just talking none other than the land of Canaan. But keeping in mind, it says Aboriginal Idumian. Huh? You see that? So before the Most High gave uh, the possession of those mountains, right, to Esau, it belonged to the Horites or the Aboriginal Idumians, huh? Now, when we say mingle, Esau. <laughs> Esau was procreating with these Horites, right? And this is why, this is why Isaac and Rebekah abid that Jacob take a wife from Laban, right? His uncle, Rebekah's brother. Why? Because these races here, these creations, were incorrect. Let's go. All right, we're here in hijack as Wikipedia. Uh, we already know Wikipedia is hijacked, but we're going to always see what Wikipedia has to say. Because sometimes they give you some drop. They give you half and half. All right. So that's how Google and Wikipedia does their shit. How about we're digging on Triglodyte? All right. Cave Gores, where people mention in various locations. All right. So when we say that when the Most High spreaded them out, are doing the Tower of Babel, 
right? When he destroyed it, he spread it them out because you got these cases of these Sasquatch and Bigfoot all across the face of the planet. Trust me, it's nothing new. All right, we're just digging, we're cooking, we're cooking. Herodotus referred to Troglodyte, Troglodyte, Dite, whatever. All right, in his histories, as being a people hunted by uh, whoever that is in Libya, all right, we're going to dodge the hijack because we know that we're talking about two different land masses, right? We're just talking about a Maru Khan here. We don't give a fuck about what's going on over there. I can tell you that right now. Now, he said that the troglodyte, let me just say troglodyte, uh, were the swiftest runners of all humans known. Now, we're going to see that. I'm going to bring you the visuals. And that they ate snakes, lizards, and other reptiles. All right. We can also find reference to these whatever they are, and Job. Those that dwelt in the cliffs of the rocks, huh? Uh, he also stated that their language was unlike any known to him. All right? Keeping in mind, the Most High confounded uh, the nation's language who were building the Tower of Babel. Now, we just heard what these motherfuckers sound like. And it sound like, just like what it say right here, unlike any known to him or me or you. It sounded like the screeching of bats, what have you. All right, man, there you go. We just digging. That's all. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. All right, all right, all right. We're just talking about Hebrew, the original language, Paleo-Hebrew, uh, where a people mentioned in Torah inhabiting areas around the Sierra Nevada mountains. Don't get it twisted. Ain't shit over there. You can keep thinking that everything's over there like they say, but you're a fucking fool. I don't give a fuck who you are. It is stupid at this point of time to think that anything's over there but hard, beige-ass dirt. We're talking about a Maru Khan, Mount Seir, and Canaan. You see that? What's wrong with Mount Seir and Canaan? You see that, right? What's wrong? Not a Semitic people, okay. The Horites initially appear in Torah as being members of a Canaanite coalition. You see that? These motherfuckers were not all the way human. All right, I want to double back to Triglodite, right? It says, he said that the troglodytes were the swiftest runners of all humans. You're a human, my ass. Are known. You see that? I want to dig on that swiftest runners. All right, now we get to the fun part. Let's go. down to the fun part man we're gonna get to the visit uh the visuals uh, y'all forgive me uh, but y'all let me know man y'all let me know what to do let's rock everyone <laughs> now see this is the problem y'all around here celebrating this old pagan ass holiday and the most high sent these things after you. All right, we're gonna get into it. Come on, let's rock. Yeah. 
Wait a minute, man. Go back, go back, go back. I can't, I can't help it. I can't help it. I can't help it. Hell no, nah, I can't help it. Uh-uh. No, oh, buddy. Hell no. Nah. But soon after everyone says Merry Christmas, and the woman filming pans past the tree, a dark figure can be seen outside in the woods. A couple of them notice the figure right away. She immediately goes outside to investigate and hopefully capture the thing once more on film. She asks another guy who is also recording whether he saw it. He says no. Now, <clears throat> my point of going back, them niggas ain't got nail pistol with them. I ain't see nail shotgun, nail rifle. They just sitting there talking, oh my God, oh my God. And they went outside. Now, I don't know. They make one of them make out of shotgun or something like that. I just didn't see it. I just want to point that out. The obvious. Teachable moments, YouTube. If you're going to go outside and investigate a Bigfoot, man, have you a gun with you. All right. And she replies that it was really big. Soon after, that dog starts going after the supposed Bigfoot. It seems to be scared by whatever or whoever it is out there. In the end, it gets awfully close to them, so they decide to go inside. Say Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. That's the problem. The tree? That's the problem right there. Oh my god. Did you Something's see that? Behind Something's behind the garage. Ain't nobody grab no gun, no nothing. Oh, oh, here goes oh no! Y'all let the dog go out there. Oh, real of him. I see his head came on back too. Rip. Stay here, Rip. You stay here. Now nah, you go get him. Oh my God. Uh oh. Guys. <laughs> now you want to get back inside. Uh-huh. All right, let's get that again. Uh-huh. See the little dog? Uh-huh. Yeah, hey, he coming on back. He coming on back. Oh man, shut your ass up. Oh my god. Hmm. Uh-huh. Oh my god. We were get back inside, guys. Hmm. Alright, we got it enhanced. We enhanced mode. Let's go. Hey yo. Okay, okay. All right. Mmm, there you go. Almost as if he glided. Just like the lady said in the interview. Okay. <laughs> there you go. One more time. One more again. One more again. He gliding. Yep. All right, Khan Khan, we're in the works of Yosefus, right? The works of Yosefus. And we're going to find out why the, uh, Isaac and Rebecca uh, bid Jacob take a wife from her brother Laban, right? Rebecca's brother Laban. Have you pay attention right here. All right, it says... Now the mother delivered Jacob when she was afraid that his brother would inflict some punishment upon him because of the mistake, you see that bullshit, about the prayers of Isaac. It wasn't a mistake. 
for she persuaded her husband uh, to take a wife for Jacob out of Mesopotamia, okay? Uh, get away from Canaan of her own kindred. Esau, having married already Basimuth, the daughter of Ishmael. So Esau is out here marrying everybody. All right, you see that? Without his father's consent. For Isaac did not like the Canaanites, and we're going to see why, so that he disapproved of Esau's former marriages. So he married Basimuth, the daughter of Ishmael, just to uh, uh, please Isaac, uh, because his former, right, former marriages, you see that, right? Isaac disapproved of, right? Why? Because for Isaac did not like who? The Canaanites. What's wrong with the Canaanites? The land of Canaan was filled with all sorts of incorrect uh, creations, right? Abominations. And this is what we're getting with these Bigfoots. They are an abomination. Now, Jacob was sent by his mother to Mesopotamia in order to marry Laban, her brother's daughter, which marriage uh, was permitted by Isaac on account of his obsequ... What? Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, to the desires of his wife. And he accordingly journeyed through the land of Canaan. All right? We're just talking Amaru Khan. Pacific Northwest. On down the coast of Cali. That was the ancient land of Canaan. And because he hated the people of that country, you see that? And would not lodge with any of them. Why? Because they are an abomination, an incorrect creation. All right. All right, say no more, man. I'm rocking with my good op, my tawab op, natural by law. Y'all check them out on YouTube, uh, 432 to drop, Ether Squad. We all on the same street. Let's go. And uh, he's done a lot of great work on these uh, Canaanites, these uh, ape, uh, dog-faced people. All right? And so we're going to get the drop. Let's pop off. It says, uh, for want and famine, they were solitary, fleeing into the wilderness. All right. Former time, right? All right. This is Job, Job 30. Let's go. Former time is the time past that is yesterday. The last night, the former time, the yesterday night, right? Come on. So it's a time's past. Some time before, right? In former time, desolate and waste. Let's go. Right? Let's go. It says, who cut up mallows, right? Where are mallows? Mallows is the salts, right? By the bushes. The bushes are what? The plants, right? The shrubs, right? The shoots, the roots. It says, who cut up mallows by the bushes and juniper roots for their meat. Juniper being a tree, right? Roots being what? the bottom, right? The deep hill, right? The roots, right? The root of it all, right? The root. The juniper is dealing with the what? The tree, right? That of the juniper tree, right? Shout out to my bro, Teach, right? Juniper tree, right? And like the tree, it has stems, right? As we can see, like stems, right? So it says, who 
who cut up mallows by the bushes and juniper roots with their knees, right? Juniper roots, juniper stems, right? For their meat, their meat, right? Especially bread or grain, right? It says the food or the fruit, the meat, the, vic the victuals, right? The meat. It says they were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief. Uh huh. To dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, uh -huh. in the caves of the earth, Come on. in the rocks. Come on. Right? I'm going to go back to their habitat, right? It says the mandrill is an omnivore. It usually consumes plants, of which it eats over 100 species. It prefers to eat fruits, right? But will also eat leaves, lianas, bark, stems, and fibers. Eat leaves, lianas, bark, stems, and fibers. All right? It also lives where? In the rocky forests, right? In the flooded forests, right? Here it said, what? To dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in the caves of the earth, and in the rocks. Ah. Uh, All right? Uh-huh. When we check out their habitat, right? Here are the rocks, right? I mean, we're putting this all together, right? No one knows that we're piecing it this way, but this is how it, it played, right? It says, uh, among the bushes, they break, right? They cried out, right? They screamed. Come on, right? come on. Under the nettles, the nettles, right? It says, they were gathered together. They were gathered together, right? It says they were gathered together. Now, when we were looking at the word horde, what did it say? Right? It said to gather together, right? To gather together. All right? So we see how it says to live, right? Or gather in hordes, right? And um, it said that they came and gathered together. Right? It says that they were gathered together. Right? It says that they were children of, of fools, fools. Right? Right? The children of fools. Base right? men. The fools goes back to the wicked. Right? A fool. The itch. The ish man. Come right? on now. Come on. The woman. The foolish. Right? The ish. The ish man. The ish. Right? A vile person. Fools. Right? It says, yeah, children of base men, right? Of base men. What is base men? That is um, properly failure. That is nothing or destruction. So they have nothingness in their DNA. They have destruction in their DNA, right? Because they are only meant for what? Failure and destruction. They are a failed product, right? They <laughs> A failed product. Now you heard it from the naturalist, right? Now let's cook. All right, we're back with the naturalist, right? The Tawab Ah, uh, the naturalist. Shout out to Natural by Law. Y'all check him out on YouTube and subscribe. He has the drop. And we're digging on an ancient topic, as he says, but none other uh, than the Canaanites. So we're talking about the ancient Canaanites, the real ones, right? <laughs> Let's go. Let's rock. Very heated topic. Mm -hmm. Very ancient topic. Very uh, overlooked topic. No doubt, no doubt. This is basically for um, a correction. I always seem to refer or always seem to see people refer to others by a certain name. And um, I just want to address this certain name to get it clear, and we're going to identify this certain name. We're going to be dealing with the name of Canaan. Come on, come on. We're going to be talking about what Canaan really is. Uh-huh. Who Canaan <laughs> really is. Let's go. We're going to be jumping over into the uh, New Testament. I mean, sorry, Old Testament. 
No doubt, no doubt. We don't deal too much. Not at all. But um, we're gonna be dealing with Old Testament. We're gonna be in the Book of Exodus, chapter eleven, verse seven. All right. <clears throat> this is the books, the Book of Exodus, chapter eleven, verse seven. And he reads, "But against any of the children of Israel uh -huh. shall not a dog move his tongue. Not a dog against man or beast, uh -huh. that ye may know how the Most High." does put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Come on. But against any of the children of Israel uh -huh. shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast. Come on. That ye may know that the Most High doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Puts a difference. See that? puts a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. And so what we're saying is that the Most High does put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel, huh? We're just talking Sinocephaly, huh? <laughs> And so all that we're saying, man, is that whether it is, and now you notice in the book of Yashir, it says he turned some into apes, some into elephants. Well, perhaps could uh, elephants have originally been dog-headed people? You see the snout? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, but... It is to be taken literally. All right. The drop nation we've been digging on, uh, Saint Christopher, as being dog headed. Right. Uh, you do have accounts of dog headed uh, people encounters. Right. This has been reported uh, throughout history. This is nothing new. See that? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. 